Take a look at these two satellite images. There's clearly something in this lake. And you're probably wondering, what is it? Well, it's trees. A boatload of trees. So how did they get there? Well, the clue lies just south of the lake. That is Mount St. Helens. On the morning of 1980, a large 5.1 magnitude earthquake struck the region. As a consequence, the northern flank of the volcano collapsed. This unleashed the largest landslide in recorded history. Debris equivalent to one million sized Olympic swimming pools cascaded down the hillside and hurtled towards Spirit Lake. The collapse also triggered the volcano into a massive volcanic eruption. A lateral blast of gas, ash and rock raced outwards at over 300 miles per hour. This flattened 230 square miles of forest, tens of thousands of trees in minutes. This single morning goes down as one of the most explosive in modern recorded history. That cascading landslide slammed into Spirit Lake, displacing huge amounts of water. It generated a wave over 218 meters tall. This water rushed up the other side of the hillside, slamming into thousands upon thousands of trees. Entire stands of trees were ripped out of the ground, their root systems, their trunks, all of it brought by the water back into the lake. It's estimated over 350,000 trees washed into that lake that day. At the start, nearly 70 to 80% of the surface was covered by this massive log mat. And over the years, some of these trees decayed, others sunk all the way down to the lake bed, creating this eerie silhouette haunted forest of a time rocked by one of Earth's most powerful volcanoes. Today, only 20% of this log mat exists and 20% is still enough to see by satellite imagery. It is truly a phenomenal period in Earth's history. If you didn't know about it, now you do. You've been watching Earth Explained and I'll see you in the next one.